What's going on world? Today I'm going to show you how to update your Hawaii Sin by Metro PCS or Cricut from 2.1 to 2.2. You're going to need an SD card. You're going to need a data cable. I'm going to show you where to download the files from that you need to get this done. This is not my work. I'm just bringing it to you um, so you can put it on your phone. I don't claim any credit for it. We're going to need two files to get this done. The first file is Clockwork Mod, and the second file is the Android 2.2 update. So you click both links and you downloaded both files the Clockwork Mod and the Android 2.2 update. You want to extract the Clockwork Mod to your desktop. You want to take your SD card, stick it into your computer, or hook your phone up to the computer, and you want to copy the Android 2.2 update anywhere onto the SD card. It doesn't matter where, because we're going to get to that later on. Now that you've done that, let's get into doing the mod and updating the phone to Android 2.2. We're going to use Clockwork Mod to install the Android 2.2 update, and here's how we do so. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to hold the volume down button and the end button at the same time. I'm going to do that now, and that's how we get into the recovery mode. You got to hold both of them. I'm holding down. I'm holding the end button. I want to tap the power button. You're going to see this screen here. Keep holding it. Okay, now the phone is going to behave just like that. This is the mode that you want to be in. The phone is not going to do anything else. This is all you will see. Now, we are ready to hook the phone up to the computer. All you're going to see is this Hawaii screen. We hook the phone up to the data cable, and um, we're going to do the next step. Okay, so now you want to take your data cable. You want to plug that bad baby in. You want to plug the data cable in. Now that we have the data cable plugged into the phone, what we need to do is we need to install the Clockwork Mod. You're going to see the recovery file for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux. You have to choose it based on your operating system. For me, I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate, so I had to choose the one for Windows. Now we want to actually install Android 2.2. So to do so, we have to hold the up button and the send button at the same time while we tap power. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to show you how to install Android 2.2. Once again, I already have an SD card. I already did the Clockwork Mod. As you can see, Clockwork Mod Recovery version 2.5.1.8. First thing you want to do, you want to go to Backup and Restore, and you want to back up your phone. Remember, that's very important. If anything ever happens to your phone, you can go back to stock, and then from there, you can do the mod over again, etc. After doing Backup and Restore, you want to wipe data. Wipe Data Factory Reset. So I'm going to do that. You see that? If you confirm the wipe data, it cannot be undone. Delete all. Okay, it's working. Let it work. Complete. You want to wipe the cache partition. Wiped. Okay. Data wipe complete. Okay, now we have to go to advanced. 
when we get in advance, we're going to wipe the Dalvik cache. Okay. Complete. We're going to install Android 2.2. This is the last step. Well, close to the last step. Other than putting the APN settings in. Install from the SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Uh, Android 2.2. Here we go. Choose a zip to apply. 2.2.1 Wi-Fi.zip. You'll have that same file. Bang. It's working. Okay, we are done. This is now an Android 2.2 phone. I'm going to hit the back button. Uh, reboot, reboot system. Bang. Welcome to C8500. As you know, this is not a C8500. Learn how to use your C8500. And you can see I do have one bar. I didn't even set up the AP and settings yet. Skip. Here's the desktop. You can see what it comes with calendar, calculator, browser, the camera is better. As you can see you have a couple dials, you have a zoom, you can mess with the balance, you can set the location, you know, to your pictures. See, set your location. Change the megapixels, put it on super fine. You know, Change the settings on the camera, daylight, fluorescent, play with the zoom. Uh, you can't see anything because I'm not taking a picture of anything. Tethering and portable hotspot. You can turn your phone into a portable hotspot now. You know, last but not least, mobile networks. Got to set up your APN. menu new the settings as far as your APN settings you want to put them in here and you are good to go when you're done www.e.general.com